what up what up beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if it is your first time here my name is tando thank you so much for clicking through who child so much has happened since our last date like are we not within a global pandemic right now it's so insane how many expectations we had for this year and it completely just took those expectations away but nonetheless i digress we are staying home we are staying safe and we are social distancing the right way and i hope you are doing the same wherever you are in the world so as you can see in today's video i'm going to be breaking down five reasons why miss universe zozibini's cosmopolitan cover is so major i'm really really excited to get into some things okay so if you think this video is going to be interesting to you keep on watching first things first this issue has been dubbed the made in africa issue and that is in celebration of course a africa month is in may hence the theme for my backdrop today and i thought this issue was incredibly incredibly patriotic i got my digital issue and the day that it dropped actually i was like i need to get this mag right now i need to read everything and really 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 it encompasses and is consistent as far as celebrating south african entrepreneurs south african designers south african beauty brands um eco warriors that are doing incredible things within climate change i mean it truly is a representative or representation of africa and where we're going the thing incredible things that people are doing i think zozibini being on this cover is such a monumental moment is such an important moment and she's the perfect represent representative to celebrate africa month sozi is the first black miss universe to have to choose to wear her natural hair i mean this is the first time that a five million dollar miss universe crown is sitting on 4c kinky hair guys like despite the fact that she received a whole lot of racism and colorism and backlash um online and cyberbullying she has used that and turned that into a graceful moment to be like listen it's a teachable moment to be like listen we need to unlearn these things and the more that we put faces that look like us hair that looks like that's in the media people will come to realize and see it as beautiful the second reason why zozebini's cosmopolitan cover is major is because it was shot by a street photographer by the name of cedric nzaga he is the guy behind everyday people stories and he is known for his street portraits that he takes of people you know at events um randomly on the street but it actually also reminds me of that um, Tyler Mitchell and Beyonce Vogue cover moment. Tyler Mitchell also recently shot Kanye's GQ cover that has been making the rounds. I think this is so monumental because firstly, it's Cedric's first cover ever to be shot. Um, he's, this is his first cover, which is so incredible that a street photographer who used to shoot at neighbor goods market is now shooting a cover of miss universe in cosmopolitan and on an international publication like that's huge guys that's huge not only for his career but i think it's huge for photography in general it's a moment for photography so the third reason why i think zozibini's cover is so major is because in her cover story she speaks about timing and she speaks about the fact that it's important to understand and embrace the concept of, of timing so we know that she entered in 2017 and that was the year that Demi Lee Peters or oh, Demi Lee Tabo now won um, Miss South Africa and went on to win Miss Universe but something in 2019 told her to enter again for her to have entered in 2019 I think was a very very great time because i think the world is now more than ever ready for representations of different faces people that encompass what african and south africans look like in real life like what women actually look like you know amidst everything that is going on in the world right now with covid 19 i think that this cover was perfect it was perfect for now it was perfect in this time of lockdown it was perfect in this time of covid 19 it was the perfect timing now as far as representation of africa it was the perfect timing now in the celebration of what africa is doing and putting ourselves within the forefront in the global space to be like hey man like we're doing some cool shit like we have some cool people doing cool shit you know that are really rede redefining the status quo the fourth reason why this cover is so monumental is because zozi is wearing 110 percent 
South African brands from Kluk to Mantel to Foshini. I mean, she's wearing things that are 100% um, percent South African. And as I mentioned before earlier on in this video, um, this particular issue highlights South African and African designers that are doing incredible things. Um, all the editorials feature South African designs. And it's so amazing that, you know, that, 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 that is something that was part of their agenda and part of their mandate for this issue. What I love most about this cover is the fact that our Miss Universe still looks like herself. She still has her beauty spot on her nose. She doesn't have too much makeup on. She's not overly dressed. She looks so fashionable, so beautiful. We know that other magazines are infamous for photoshopping the heck out of their cover stars. <coughs> True love. So all in all, this cover is just incredible. She looks amazing. She looks liberated. It's so well shot. Um, it's clean. There's not too much happening in the background. It's about her. There's a nice balance of just like sleekness and beauty and flawlessness within this cover. It's young, it's fun, it's reminiscent of what the Cosmo brand is about. It's reminiscent of what who Zozi is <clears throat> within herself. So I am obsessed with this cover all around and you should be as well. Awesome guys, we have officially come to the end of this video. If you've made it here, you are a real true one. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed with this video don't forget to give it a thumbs oh. Oh. <sighs> let's try that again <laughs> and make sure to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video i'd love to know what you guys think about it so make sure you hit those comment sections and let me know because we know it goes down in the comments okay listen it's been awesome stay home stay safe stay sanitized and let's beat this thing till next time peace <laughs> oh, my backdrop is yeah. Yeah.